Hi, everyone. It's Pastor Dan with Uplifting Thoughts for today. I'm at River Street with uh, the new worship wall behind me. A lot of sweat equity with volunteers did a great job. Let me ask you, how is your journey going this season of Lent? Do you give up something for Lent and have you faltered maybe? Remember, this is a season to reflect on God's grace. Lent is a season of forgiveness. Recently, I've been reading scripture verses that I learned as a kid. I've been reading them in a new translation, uh, several of them actually, and learning new things. And here's the thing, it's increased my joy because it increases my awareness of God's gracious love and forgiveness. John 3.16 is one of my first verses that I learned as a child, and we all know that verse. Say it with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. It was Luther who called that verse the gospel in a nutshell. It's so popular, you, you see it all over the place, on TV, uh, t-shirts, uh, billboards, even coffee cups, in so many different places. It's no wonder it's a favorite verse of so many people. However, I'll never forget the time I shared that verse with a friend to let them know God loves them very much. The person that I was sharing with had gone through a lot of rough times, and when they heard that verse, they said to me, yeah, I know, God loved past tense 2,000 years ago, not anymore. The difficulties of life that person experienced had grown a large crop of bitterness in their soul and they didn't want to hear of God's love because they couldn't see it. They couldn't see it in their life experience or anywhere around them. We, we know this verse because John, the gospel writer, tells us the conversation Jesus had with Nicodemus, and Nick couldn't understand this verse either. Oh, it wasn't because of his bitterness that darkened his understanding. Instead, Nicodemus had too much pride. He wanted a hand in it. And you know, so many different reasons keep us from God's love, and it's hard to get a hold on and understand how gracious it is. But you know, love never gives up. Remember, God doesn't ask permission first before sending Jesus to die for us. God's love covers all our sin because God is love. It's what God does for us. He sends his son. I know a minister who says this when he baptizes a child. Child of God, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then he adds four words with a big smile on his face, like it or not. Do you see? It's God's grace. It's God's plan for us. And we can choose to accept it, believeth it, or not. We can even run away from it. But we can't influence it. We can't manipulate it. We can't even control it. So God's love will continue to chase us, seeking to grab hold to us and to redeem us. All the days of our lives, whether we like it or not, God seeks lost sheep. So maybe this is a verse, if we look at it more seriously, it might terrify us because we're powerless. For those of us who are literally hell-bent means we can't have a part in it. We receive it. We receive God's faithful love. And it is also the one relationship we can't screw up because God created it, God maintains it, and God will bring it to a good end all through the power of God's sacrificial, self-giving love. That's the lesson Nicodemus learned, as well as my friend who learned God's love covers all our sin, even bitterness that's deep within the soul. That's good news to share to others. Hey, have a great day.